Now let's see this example. Design a Turing machine for L is equal to a power n b power 2n where n is greater than or equal to 1. So here the language is if n is equal to 1 then the string is a power 1 b power 2. So that is nothing but a double b. Next if n is equal to 2 then double a 4 b is a power 2 b power 2 into 2 that is nothing but 4 b is next if n is equal to 3 3 bull a next b power 2 into 3 means b power 6 so 6 b is likewise we can have n number of strings uh, let us see the logic here let us assume that n is equal to 3 so the possible strings are the possible string is so 3 bull a 3 bull a next 1 2 3 4 5 6 a power n is equal to 3 so that means a power 3 is nothing but 3 bull a next b power 2 into 3 means b power 6 so double 6 okay uh, here the logic is very very simple here before the string we can have any number of blank spaces after the string also we can have any number of blank spaces so first we have to start at a so we have to replace a by x replace a by x and then move towards the right until we get b here b's are double to a's so for every a we will have two b's so we have to replace these two b's by two y's and then here this for this a we have x next for this a these two are the corresponding b's so we have to replace these b's by y's two y's okay next uh, next come back move towards the left until we get x next replace this a by x and then move right uh, until we get y and after y we have two b's so we have to replace those two y's by those two b's by two y's and then move towards the left till we get x so replace this a by x and then move towards the right till we get y uh, and after that we have two b's so replace the two b's by y so these two y's are for these x's and then next we have the blank space so we can say that our string is correct our string is accepted by the Turing machine so for this uh, uh, we have to design the Turing machine so now let's see the Turing machine here uh, so let us start at uh, the initial state q0 let us start at q0 so next uh, q0 on a means we have to replace this a by x so q0 on a means replace this a by x and move towards the right okay so we have to replace this a by x now and then move towards the right towards the right so now the head is at this location next on q1 here we have two a's okay uh, there is no need to change those a's so keep them as same so write the self loop so q1 on a means keep it as same only a only but move the head towards the right so q1 on a means a only but move the head towards the right so q1 on a means a only but move the head towards the right so what is the next symbol b so we have to replace these two the consecutives b by y's okay so if we see b on q1 then replace b by which symbol y and then move towards the right so now we have to replace this b by y and then move towards the right next if we read b on q2 then replace this b by then replace this b by y here th uh, these two y uh, these two b's are replaced by y so we have to move towards the left we have to move towards the left and then move towards the left so now the read rate head is at this location let the next state is q3 so on q3 uh, if we read any number of y's then there is no need to change y's so keep them as yes, same only so q3 on y means we will be at q3 only but move the head towards the left but move the head towards the left next we have a uh, here we have to move the head towards the left till we get x so if we read a on, on q3 then there is no need to change a but move the head towards the left so there is no need to change a move the head towards the left next there is no need to change a but move the head towards the left next if we read x if we read x on q3 
there is no need to change x keep the x as it is but move the head towards the right for the second a here already uh, so this is x and the corresponding b's are replaced by y's so now we have to proceed for the second iteration okay so now what will happen a on q not means it will be replaced by it will be replaced by x uh, next uh, a on q1 means we will stay at q1 only next b on q1 means uh, here here the first symbol is what y uh, yeah we need to write one more uh, one more loop here so y by r y by r so this is nothing but yeah it is not visible so let us write here here this q1 self loop is y by r q1 self loop is what y by r so a a r y by r so now here we have y so q1 on y means q1 only there is no need to change y but move the head towards the right next to q1 on y means q1 only there is no need to change y but move the head towards the right next q1 on b b on q1 means it will be replaced by it will be replaced by y and move the head towards the right okay next b on q2 means b on q2 means it will be replaced by it will be replaced by y and move the head towards the left so now we are at this y okay next y on q3 means y only but move the head towards the left next y on q3 means y only but move the head towards the left next y on q3 means y only but move the head towards the left next a on q3 means a only but move the head towards the left next x on q3 means what will happen it will it will goes to the q not state but we have to move the head towards the right so move the head towards the right so next next one so for the second a it is replaced by x next for the two b's are replaced by y's next one is a so a on q not means what x so we have to replace this a by x so next next one is y next one is y so y on q1 means y only uh, but move the head towards the right next y y y y so next we will be at b so b on q1 means it will be replaced by y next b on q2 means it will be replaced by y two y's but move the head towards the left we will be at which state q3 state okay so q3 and y means y only but move the head towards the left y move the head towards the left y move the head towards the left so now we are at x so x on q3 means it will be shifted to the q not state okay it will be shifted to the q not state but we have to move the head towards the right okay so now move the head towards the right now move the head towards the right so now we are at the symbol y so it specifies that all the symbols of a are completely processed now we have to check whether is there are any y's or not so for that purpose what we have to do is if we read y on q not then move to the next state so q3 is over so what is the next state q4 is the next state so there is no need to change the y but move the head towards the right okay so y on q not means y only but move the head towards the right next if we read any number of y's on q4 then we will be at q4 only there is no need to change y but move the head towards the right so there is no need to change y so move the head towards the right move the head towards the right move the head towards the right now we are at blank symbol if we read blank symbol then it specifies that the complete input string is processed it is a valid string so here if we read b on q4 then then keep it as blank symbol only then it is our choice we can keep uh, read right head either towards the right or left it is our choice either right or left so this is nothing but final state acceptance state this is turing machine so there is no need to enclose this state within the double circles so turing machine means it simply accepts the input and produces the output okay so it is a normal state only there is no need to enclose this in the uh, there is no need to enclose this in the double circles it is a single circle only it is a single circle only so here q5 is nothing but acceptance state final state okay uh, so in this way in this way we can design a turing machine for the language a power n b power 2n where n is greater than or equal to 1 so likewise according to the states we can write the transition functions okay we can write the trans in the examination in addition to the uh, this turing machine transition diagram you need to write transition functions also